Did you know that if you have the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, this, that's what I have, or the S9, not sure about the S8, you get to have the new theme, which Samsung has launched today, which is Friday, February 22. It's pretty awesome. Like, look at that. It's pretty cool stuff. It's great. I was actually thinking of buying the uh, S10 Plus, but now that I have the new interface, who cares of buying it? Well, obviously I'm gonna buy it, but probably next year. Something like that. Probably in like one year. So something like that. Yeah. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is FemMD and I'm a UX designer in Toronto. I was thinking like, what content should I create for you guys? And today, I was like, hey, wait a second. Why don't I do this? Why don't I create what UX design tools you need to use as a UX designer in 2019, which is this year, right? Okay, so these are the tools that I, I, I'm using and I have been using over the last 10 years. A lot of tools I have stopped using. I have started using new tools. For the last six months, it would be Adobe XD. Um, I used to design on Illustrator and Photoshop, so I don't do Illustrator anymore. That's an example, and I do a lot of my interface designs on Adobe XD, and also a little bit of Photoshop. I figured, hey, why don't I create this uh, content today? Those of you who are wondering what tools should I not waste my time on, and what tools I need to focus on for the next, I don't know, maybe three years or, or five years. I'm not saying that these are the only tools that you need to use as a user experience or user interface designer. These are the tools that I'm using. If you happen to use something different, and you're someone with more than five years of experience, by by all means, uh, I'm not saying that the tools that you're using is wrong. All right, so let's begin. Okay, number one, I actually wrote it on the note here and I'm not a story this time, I promise. One comment went very bad. I promised this um, user who commented on my video, uh, I'm not gonna swear. All right, cool. So number one, as a UX designer, number one tool is a communication device. That's right, email or a cell phone, right? So, hey, hello client. Yes, you have a problem with your website? What, you can't figure that out? Wait a second, what is the problem? That's number one. So any form of communication device or a computer laptop uh, having a conversation with your clients in person so that's not number one tool very important and obviously in order to write your, the information or the problem down I honestly use a notepad I'm not even joking but like I use this I'm old school I just use this is actually a brand new one but I do have probably some old information in here let's see do I have anything old in here yes I do yeah I got some old information here I don't know what this is brand new site sales okay yeah, I bought this two years ago and I still haven't used it because at work I, I use a different book and also for my client uh, stuff, I use a laptop now. FYI, if you have a client or you are at work, please do not use your smartphone device, man. It just, in their point of view, it makes it seem like you're on like Snapchat, Facebook or something like that. So it's ideal to use some sort of uh, a notebook or a laptop it will make you seem more professional okay, number two is Google Analytics any source of analytics is great if you're one of the big boys and you got the good stuff you can use Adobe Analytics but that tool costs fifty thousand dollars if you cannot afford that I cannot afford that the company I work for they can afford that but I cannot I personally cannot afford that so I use Google Analytics it is free there's a good chance that your client whatever company you're working for right now they have Google Analytics it's easy to understand there are thousands of YouTube videos. If your clients do not have Google Analytics, please apply it once the website has been created. Two software tools that you need to use as a user interface designer is number one is Adobe XD and also Adobe Photoshop. Calm down, you're probably looking at me, you still design in Photoshop. I got projects that are like three years old and I know I can import them in Adobe XD, but it's just way easier for me to just carry on on Photoshop and just get the job done instead of importing it on XD. It's just like like I've, I, I have done it a couple of times and I'm just not a big fan of it. I'm still 100% comfortable in, in Adobe Photoshop because I've been using that tool for probably more than like, for more than 20 years, wow. I've been using Photoshop for more than 20 freaking years. Important thing, Photoshop, if, you're, if you still wanna use Photoshop, go ahead. Adobe XD is ideal right now, prototype. In Facebook design groups, in Reddit, in Twitter, there's always a fight that goes on between Adobe XD prototype tool and Envision. I have been using Envision for more than three years? Or is it four years? Something like that. I like it, I use it at my current workplace. Everybody understands it easily. People who are not UI UX designer, they understand that, oh, okay, I gotta log in and I can just comment on the things that I have a question for or the things that I might need to change, which hardly happens. But yeah, I need to change or I don't you know, like, so applying this comment, we can create a conversation. Love that. 
And I feel like Envision is the best in that. I may move into Adobe XD's prototype tool. Uh, I'm not a fan of it right now, but that's, that does not mean that I'll never use it. I need to use it this year, I will. I definitely love their voice feature that they have. I love that and I have played around with it and I like it. So if you're still using Envision, you know, don't be shy. Tell the world. Hey, designer, I still use Envision and Photoshop. Take that middle finger. I can't do it. It's, uh, I don't want people to complain. Once that is completed, you have taken the feedback, comments, and all that good stuff. You have applied it to your design. You're going to be working with developer who does HTML, CSS, CSS3, HTML5, JavaScript, all that good stuff. Or you might be coding your own design work, which is pretty awesome because, yo, I no longer do that and I like, yo, yo, I'm pretty rusty when it comes to code. I'm actually relearning how to code, but I'm not, I'm not. Speaking of that, I gotta take that off my resume. This is something that I've discovered last year and I've done, no, two years ago and I've been, and I like this software. It's called Zeppelin, Zeppelin or Zeppelin, Zeppelin, Z-E-P-L-I-N. So you can do this for Adobe XD and Photoshop. If you're gonna import your work where it's easier to read it into a code format, like HTML, CSS, import it into Zeppelin. So what it does is it takes all your layers or your folders, converts it into a, a language, which is HTML, CSS, which gets imported into Zeppelin and you'll get two links either for a link one link is for the Zeppelin app and the second one would be for a browser it gives you the right colors the font size the alignment spacing like the banner the header sizes search engine box sizes the form sizes is very detailed provides the images I think it's very awesome because at the end of the day I believe as a, as a designer when your work gets coded you need to revisit it to make sure at least 99% same because there are a lot of times where I'm sent over my work and it doesn't even look the same like I can't even recognize it and that and that just irritates me and therefore this awesome tool helps the developer to make sure that oh you know what this is the right font size So very important tool, get used to it. It's not rocket science, it's easier than Envision. There's two things that I really wanna mention and it's my advice as a designer. It's very important to learn the basics of HTML, CSS, and SEO. SEO as in search engine optimization. When a designer doesn't have any knowledge about coding, they go extreme with the design manual. They'll see a very big image, very big font, but yo, how long will that take to code? Um, this mistake I've made a lot, I think uh, seven years ago or so. I used to go extremely crazy with my designs. I guess back in the days it was all right because at the end of the day, if anybody wants to go to a website, they'll either, either use their, their computer, their desktop. That's pretty much it. But now it's like your design, people are either viewing it on desktop or mobile. That's it. Tablet, 15% chance, but mobile and desktop, they're like, together right now. I'm sure, and I think we all know this, a site like YouTube can go extremely crazy with the designs on their app and on their desktop, but they choose not to. Because number one, it's highly user friendly. Number two is time is money. They kept it elegant, simple, easy to use, and I would probably say easy to code. And I'm not saying, hey, YouTube is the easiest site to code. Because of the fact that it's simple, it consumes less time to code. So like, for example, when I'm designing, I think about the development, like how long will that, how long will it take to code? I think about search engine optimization. How would this page, how can it be, be found on search engine? How user friendly will it be? So I think about those three things, very important. And the most important thing is coffee. How are you able to perform all this if you don't even have coffee? Like how? Please tell me. I can't even do any of this if I do not have a good, nice, fresh of coffee. All right, so. I think we have, oopsie, all right, let's go right, all right, there we go. All right, so that was it. Uh, I hope it was easy to understand what I was saying today. Uh, more content is on its way, and thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions about any of this, please comment below. If you're new to this channel, subscribe like all of us. Let me see, Vegeta this time, let's do Vegeta this time. All right, guys, take care, bye. I have a dead plant over here right now. I don't know how to fix this. Like I water it and it's still not good. If you guys can help me out on this, like it's, it's pretty wet. But yeah, I really suck at this. So please help, please let me know what I should do with this. It's actually dying and I feel so bad.